G'day, this is Captain Noob. This is a tanker pistol, and this is a crusader pistol. It's two standalone weapons. This one's based off a 12.7mm pistol from Fallout New Vegas, and this one is based off its namesake in Fallout 76. Although omitted, strangely, is all of the cool elemental modifications that you can put on the Fallout 76 version. So this one's going to be a little bit more straightforward. The difference between these, apart from the paint job, is this thing fires the munitions 223 rounds, and this one fires the munitions 12.7 millimeter rounds. So this means this one's getting a little bit more damage because the rounds are a little bit stronger. And it looks like the uh, Crusader pistol has slightly better accuracy. Is it because it uses center fire cartridges? Maybe. I actually got no idea what the uh, in-universe 12.7 millimeter cartridge actually looks like. But yeah, this thing, its magazine is here. Instead of the uh, Fallout New Vegas thing where you load it through the um, <laughs> through the handle like some sort of uh, like TARDIS technology sort of deagle setup, this thing actually has the magazine at the front here, which means you've got the bullets which are probably loaded back here at best, which means your nominal barrel space is going to be absolutely nothing. So this thing's accuracy, I think, is fairly um, on the money there. I think that actually kind of works. You can increase the nominal barrel length by muzzle attachments, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's go over the receivers first. And first of all, we've got the receivers. I think I just said that. And the advanced receiver gives you just shy of 300 damage for a gunslinger weapon that is extremely powerful, especially since you're going to be getting around that damage-ish for an advanced 44 Magnum or Western Revolver. So that, that bodes well for DPS purposes. This thing's going to be mag-fed and you don't have to chamber the things by pulling the hammer down between shots. So good for a DPS on the gunslinger front. So possibly a good endgame weapon there. And here's a quick comparison between an advanced Western Revolver and the 12.7mm pistol. So maybe if you're running a crit build, this will be better for just maximizing damage. But DPS-wise, this thing is going to do so much better. Plus, it's got the ability to put a suppressor on, but we'll get to that as we get to it. Now, you can extend the barrel a little bit as well. So yeah, the nominal barrel length goes up. Since Gunslinger gives you a bunch of range boosts anyway, you could probably get away at closer range using this thing with a standard barrel just to give yourself the maximum um, AP usage out of this thing. But this has got a light barrel, extended, ported, cooling, which will increase your fire rate. It's got these pipes on it for greebling and stuff that cools it down somehow. An accelerated barrel, which gives you this little... It looks like a fusion cell in the end, but I'm not really sure what's going on there. That'll actually increase your damage. Worst AP cost, though. So look out for that one. Also reduces your rate of fire. That's kind of interesting. But look at that range. You'll be able to hit anything from render distance with this thing as is. So why not go full out damage with this thing? Let's make this thing sniper status. Next, we've got the grips. We've got a standard comfort. There's a target grip. That's nice and wooden. We've got a gunslinger. Light grip. Synthetic. And for some reason, every now and then those lose quality. That was distracting me. I'm sorry. You've also got this speed grip. Better reload, improved ADS speed. That's pretty good. This one gives you better recoil. I'm not super worried about recoil for this thing, especially since it's going to be really good at VATs. I might maximize its uh, use in VATs just to make it stronger. Next, we've got the magazine. So you can have a standard magazine, extended version, and quick eject variants of those things. So yeah, that'll give you just a little bit more ammo capacity, give you a bit more staying power in a firefight. Pretty simple stuff. Next, we've got the sights. You can have standard sights, and glow sights, or improved versions of the glow sights and the standard sights. The glow sights, I think, look quite good on this thing, but you've also got options for a laser sight, which will override your actual aim. This thing just use, use the dot off the middle of the screen to aim, which means you won't have this gigantic pistol getting in your way if you do that, so there's advantages to that. But if you want to maximize its usage in VATS, then you've got this reflex sight you might want to utilize. And there's also a scope for sniping, so we're going to throw that one on because why not? And next, we've got the muzzles. For recoil control, compensator, and muzzle brake, like usual, that will cost you a little bit of range. But the range penalty will be much higher if you use a suppressor, which will increase your nominal barrel length. But for balance reasons, it'll have to reduce your range, otherwise it'll just be too good. And with Ace Operator, we're getting 362 damage with this thing, so a fairly good start for a tanker pistol. It's Feels weird to say, I want to say 12.7 millimeter pistol. Next, we've got the Crusader pistol, which basically has the same things going on for it, but you'll find that its upper limit of its damage is going to be 
not quite as good. So I'll quickly skim through these things. I'm sure you can read on screen exactly what I'm doing. It's kind of a shame that the modifications are the same because, um, you know, you could... You could have had, you had license to do something a little bit more uh, interesting, a little bit more left field with the Crusader pistol, considering it's um, Fallout 76 incarnation. But it's basic. I guess there's, uh, it's it's still cool, I guess. But now with these things suppressed in advance, you can see the uh, damage gap has gotten a little bit further out, and the Brotherhood of Steel insignia has gotten a little bit smaller because these coils at the top of the accelerated barrel, which. I guess they are gas coils. That's interesting. I wonder if that actually changes the projectile. I'll mess around with a couple of these barrels and see if anything interesting happens. But there we go. There's our Crusader pistol and our tanker pistol. We'll get a couple more of these so we can hear them loud and proud, even though they do use the uh, standard vanilla game assault rifle sounds. But we'll have some unsuppressed just for that. And you can go away. This weapon is injected onto the level list. I'm not sure which level. I can't check at the moment because as of this recording, the Nexus is down. But I'll probably try to put a pinned comment there so you can actually figure out when exactly this thing's going to be sporting for you. But here it is at Cleo's. I'm level 120-ish. So if you're that level, you'll definitely get it. Unless you've got like troubles with your injected level list. I've had a lot of... Uh, comments recently and i think it's got something to do with that new update that might mess up the uh level inject script that they always use to get these weapons showing up in game there's also a unique version of this in the overworld it is located up north of the map recon bunker theater it's where you gotta go to finish lost patrol it's where paladin brandis is vibing right now and you'll find it around this uh these bed setups there's a prototype crusader machine pistol oh it's got a helical drum Interesting. Okay, we might do that up and see what that bad boy can do, but is it automatic? Mm, looks like it. Interesting. Okay, time to shoot people. Welcome back. Immersive Gunners Plaza awaits, and here is our tanker pistol in first person. It's got a short scope on it, and there appears to be very little in the way of scope sway, which is great considering we're holding this with just one hand. So, you know, we must have taken a shot of that new Vegas Steady before our. Uh, recording or hitting the record button so that's cool there's a lot of recoil though so you know it swings at roundabout it's going to be hard sometimes anyways they're shooting at something so whilst they're doing that let's take a look this is the crusader pistol okay another key difference between the crusader pistol and the tanker pistol is the crusader pistol it's got it's got more ammo capacity so you know you've got your 10 in your 12.7 millimeter but you've got 18 almost double in your crusader pistol so yeah, that, that's a pretty big uh, bonus for it. Next, we've got another version of the 12.7mm tanker. This one, short barrel, light grip, light everything for maximum AP usage along with that reflex sight. And lastly, we've got the uh, helical drum version, the unique one we found in Paladin Branches. We, di we didn't stole it, steal it from him, um, we, we simply borrowed it. Anyways, I've got a suppressor on this thing, a cooling barrel, so it's got the uh, faster fire rate. And I've got those cool uh, glow reflex sights I was talking about. They look pretty neat, don't they? We could optimize it a little bit better if we put a reflex sight on it, but we've already seen reflex sights, so it'll be fine. We'll just uh, use... Oh! Okay, I got detected instantly, so no, we're doing this properly. We're going to start off with uh, sniping, so let's do that. We'll find um, some heads to shoot. Instant kill with uh, vafs here. And now we can continue this. Should be a crit our next shot. Let's try to pick out some good target. There we go. Hit scan projectile. They do make it a little bit easy to uh, scope things out. But you could do the same thing at home if you don't have the um, the extra buttons on your controller to uh, do this by just being a drug addict, drug addict and taking a shitload of jet. But as you can tell, sniper status version working pretty well. Let's uh shoot in real time here because well it might be flattering this thing a little bit with its um with its aiming and stuff in all normal motion you can't always get headshots all the time you know but when you do it certainly hits pretty hard popping off heads left and right oh there's a blood bug here and i think it is time for actual fighting i've noticed when i'm holding this thing the hipfire accuracy is pretty good as well so potentially if you're a big fan of hipfire what you could do is just 
you use this with a scope all the time and just hip fire it at closer range. Not that you'll really need to worry about an over the top scope for this thing. Get out of here. Nice little pistol whip there. Anyways, let's move over to our Crusader pistol now that we're in close quarters. And yep, there's the assault rifle sounds. I don't mind the sounds on this thing actually. I think it kind of suits. Let's get a little bit of extra that of that 556 five, punch that you know, it's a futuristic looking pistol, so you can sort of, um, you suspend your disbelief over the sound that it makes. It can sound stronger because it looks futuristic, right? That's what I'm getting at. And the recoil on the uh, lighter caliber version seems to be a lot more controllable. Nice open reflex sight means these follow-up shots are very easy to make. The gun isn't dancing in my face. It's nice and centered whilst I'm shooting, so... The controllability, yeah, there's obviously, uh, is that a Crusader pistol as well? It is not. It is a different type of pistol. Inferior. That's only a 9mm. That's not helping you. Anyways, let's move over to our Mega Crit version. So this thing, look how many shots we get. That is almost Deliverer-esque without the Bats Enhanced Legendary effect to give it a little bit more strength in that regard. Anyways, let's uh, do a little bit of gun through here. Why not? Couple of shots for you. Add a critical onto this next one. Should be able to finish him off. Not quite. All right. So far, so good. I think we've left one down here. So we'll sort him out. Just speaking of its sheer rate of fire compared to your other late game pistols that the vanilla game and DLCs provide, this thing definitely feels like it's hitting real hard and it's hitting much faster so good end game solution as expected anyway it's time for that helical drum now this one's not going to have as much range as everything else so we've got to keep that in mind as we're shooting our targets so let's start this off by doing a little bit of stealthy slow-mo stuff nice that actually worked out pretty well and just like the other Crusader pistols, very controllable in a from a recoil point of view. So you don't have to worry about this thing getting off target. And again, we're using the standard vanilla game um, sounds for the assault rifle. So that's doing us pretty well there. Even at this range, this thing is still hitting for over 100. For a pistol like that, that's pretty good. Granted, this thing has moved over to Commando, so we've lost... That's probably why our range isn't so crash hot with this thing. But even then, it's definitely doing a serviceable job here. So, what is it? It's a law-friendly, really well-done, well-polished... Um, end game pistol like there's not a lot that you can say to this thing's detriment it's working really well also it works with classic holstered weapons doesn't quite work with a uh, bridget's holster that she's got there but what can you do eh i think it's close enough also the size of this thing with a scope and suppressor it almost looks like a pocket sniper rifle so really cool um let's uh, move on to the next thing yes with all the stopping power behind this round that i'm using i'm sure it'll be a easy task to defeat Swan, but he's got a bunch of dudes around him, so I'm thinking I might be able to utilize Gun Fu here. Let's see. I totally lost track of that Assaultron. Okay. Well, we're in danger now. Looks like stealth will have to wait for a little bit later, but we can get a little bit of Gun Fu if we just shoot this guy once, kill him, and 758, 964. Four? He turned around and sort of started attacking the other guy. Now we can shoot him with uh, snake criticals. And yeah, this thing, even when you're maximizing its rate of fire, granted the recoil does get a little bit on top of you using this thing with a scope. It's still doing pretty well. I think using a scoped version of the uh, helical drum would be a particularly potent um, solution for killing enemies real fast. Let's add some uh, Vax Criticals, a couple in a row. Like an old school New Vegas style gunslingers where we just pull crypt out of our ass. Man, crypt builds are so good at New Vegas. Also, I do like that, I've mentioned this earlier, but I do like the fact that you reload this thing not by the 
stuffing the round gun of the handle. Like, I don't know if that was just like an animation thing that they did. Because I think originally that was a total whiff from this one. Interesting. I think originally this thing was like a replacement for the 14mm pistol from the original Fallout. So they just changed the caliber a little bit. Is that robots around here? Not cool, man. There we go. Let's pick out a weaker target. Don't go for the head, idiot. It's a robot. Should be able to get crits now. There you go. Out of AP, didn't get the kills that I needed to get my AP back through Grim Reaper Sprint. But these guys, they showed up a little bit earlier, so I ignored them. But I got pushed all the way back. And Is that a deer? Get out of here. Remember, switching to your one of your four secondaries is faster than reloading. Got plenty of these guns to go around. Okay, let's try something a little bit different. Proper stealthy this time, like with a... Of the automatic version. Let's see if Gunfu works against all of these insects. I don't actually care if I actually hit them or not. Let's see. Two. There was a there was a bloat fly behind him. Where is he? Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, they are definitely aggroed now. One, two, three, and crits for the rest of these shots. As expected, none of those hit, but look at that. The power of vats and pistols. You can't go past it. Anyway, so he's going to get aggroed now because he would have seen me at this stage, but before he could even get close to me, I've already cut him down, so yeah. Is it bordering on overpowered? No. Is it a really good pistol solution for an endgame thing? Yes, it is so good. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's strong. It's really powerful. It hits stuff when I'm not even aiming at it. I saw those glow sights. They were nowhere near that ghoul. I just... Maybe it was random spread. Got the job done anyway. So, yeah, this thing's basically crushing anything in its path. I suppose the biggest issue you might have with this if you install it today, if you haven't got the munitions mod already, is collecting the ammo to make it work. But you don't really need a ton of ammo to get this thing to do a whole lot of damage so you know you can't really even say that so it's detriment so wow this thing is just mm, perfectly done perfectly executed okay let's get even more gun foo streaks happening see i've got zero crits left so we'll just uh give you a little bit of a love tap lure you in even he was so confused by what happened and then oh no look there's a pack of raiders around number one uh you later We'll find our guarantees first. That's enough guarantees. And now you, you, and then power armor down the back. We'll shoot you in the head. And we've still got enough left over. So if we don't quite get this one, you're finished. It's like playing the original Fallouts on God Mode where you just can't miss. You're using the vats to go for the eyes every time and getting those outrageous crits that just seems to explode everyone in a single shot. Does this weapon feel nostalgic for anybody? I'm, I'm not really sure. I haven't really heard much discourse about the 12.7mm uh, pistols or maybe not even the submachine guns. I feel like they're overshadowed by your standard generic NCR service rifles and assault carbines and marksman carbines. You know, but still worthy in their own right. Anyways, this is my lit queen. We'll dethrone her. That was not the uh, crit that sent her to the death. There we go. And now we can focus our attention on this one. Should we have enough crits to do this? And we've only got three, but concentrated fire will take over. We've got penetrator, so I'm pretty sure we can go straight through that carapace. This is all unsuppressed with a short barrel. So let's change this for a slightly longer barrel than a suppressor. I saw a hit for 1600 there. We'll go for its legs because it's not facing us. I think it's half aggroed. And what are you looking at, mate? Is he actually launching any boogers over at me? He might be, you know. All right, got some AP. May as well use it. 
the accuracy to back this thing up. Double crit. Very nice. And I think we'll go back over to our helical drum version here. And we'll see what we can do when dealing with a little bit of uh, pressure when it comes to fighting this Mile Oh, you don't have to hit me at all. Wow, crushed it. So, what more could I say about this? It's sort of run out of superlatives, but damn, this thing is good. Perfectly executed, extremely powerful, but not too over the top where it feels like I don't have to really put any effort into killing anything. So, yeah, this is really well done and perhaps does the weapon justice. I was never a huge fan of this thing back in Fallout New Vegas, but perhaps... Um, this thing in its incarnation does the thing justice. So if you're are particularly attached to that weapon back in New Vegas, then check this mod out. It's so good. I think Dak released one as well, but this one's going to be hard to beat. I'm going to take a little bit of a, a while before I look at Dak's version of this particular weapon, but I'm sure it'll be good. But this one, it's just so well done that it's going to be super hard to top, I think. And I think I found a bug. I'm stuck in... Slow walkie mode in third person. Dramatic walk mode. Which is great if I want to, like, have a, a trailer or some sort of slow motion walk in, like, a machinima. But, oh, there you go. Not sure if that's the mod or if that's on me. Because I noticed the reload animations look like that. Is that how it's supposed to look? I'm not sure. But that's the second time that's happened. Or randomly squatting during a reload animation. Maybe that's not supposed to happen. But perhaps there's a little bit of a bug with the, uh third person mode here unless you're sprinting of course but if you're not the dramatic walk though i can appreciate that anyways if you want to see this weapon in your game check out the link in the description it'll be down there thank you very much for watching guys